Welcome back. I am your Geeky Game Master, and today we are going to review and take a look at the Golden Girls Clue. I got this from Entertainment Earth. I had pre-ordered it back uh, before the summer. The point of this game is that you're actually looking to see who ate the last piece of cheesecake. I'll bring it in close and get a better look. There's the cover. It has the Golden Girls on there. Uh, there is Sophia and Rose, Blanche and Dorothy. A Golden Girls version of Clue. So let me open it up and show you what everything looks like comes with the rules and for this clue a lot of the clues that are themed they do change up their rules a little bit and they add some extra cards to make to make the gameplay a little uh, a little different uh, we have the envelope we have the game board here we'll take a look at it's just same as a typical uh, clue game board but it has different areas so I'll bring it in and you can see all the different areas so they have um, Rose's bedroom, the bathroom, um, Sophia's bedroom, uh, Dorothy's bedroom, the kitchen, Blanche's bedroom. Uh, they'll have the living room here, the garage, and the lanai. So we'll bring that in close to get a better look. So that is the board for the Golden Girls Clue. With the game pieces here, and they have the four ladies, so there's Dorothy as purple, Sophia is blue, Blanche is red, we have uh, Rose is white, Betty white, which makes perfect sense. Then they have Miles and Stan, uh, but they only have like generic photos of them. I don't know if they weren't able to get the copyrights for their faces or something, I don't know, but we have those pieces. Uh, comes with two regular dice. The weapons in this one are you have uh, the recliner, you have, uh, I believe this is lipstick, I think this is Sophia's bag, a bathrobe, slipper or high heel, and then this is supposed to be whipped cream. Again, the theme for this one is who ate the last piece of cheesecake, so that's what you're going around looking to do in this version of Clue. Then here are the cards, so there's uh, Blanche, the kitchen, feathered slipper, the garage, the lanai, there's Sophia, Dorothy's bedroom, Stan, Miles, Sophia's purse, front yard, Dorothy, lipstick, Sophia's bedroom, Rose, bathrobe, whipped cream, Blanche's bedroom and Rose's bedroom. So those are all the cars that you get given out and you have to try to find who ate the cheesecake, what room did they eat it in, and what did they eat it with, like what did they have. And you get your normal sheet, like usual, checklist. And then what this version has, um, a little different, is first, these cards here, um, they one for each player. So let's say I wanted to be Rose, okay? I would get Rose's character card. And then what it, what it is, is basically on here it says, it has just a quote of Rose. It says, as they say in St. Olaf, Hellenberg, Barton, Glerk, Gang, Glerk, Preferfen. But on the back, it says, uh, once per game, you may start a rumor using a room you are not in. The suspect of the rumor is moved to the room you name. Flip this card over after using your power. So each person has a special card. You could use once per game and each one is different. So roses is basically you can start a rumor using a room you're not in. So let you know if you're on one side of the board and you want to get to the other side, you can start your rumor there. Dorothy's is once per game you may move twice. Roll the dice, move, then roll again. So, you know, and then uh, Blanche is once per game you may randomly pick a card to look at from someone you just showed a card to. So there's all different little things about you know who you're going to be, and you get a special uh, bonus to be in them, and something, an advantage in the game, speeds it up a little bit, and it makes it more interesting than just a normal regular clue. These themed ones change it up a little bit. Then, on the board, I didn't sh On the board, I'll show you here in one second. I'll show you one half. There's these little question marks you might see. I'll bring it in closer. 
these little question marks here, and there is one question mark on one of the dice. So you have, you know, the two dice on one die, there is the question mark. If you land on a question mark or you roll a question mark, there are these cards, they're called distraction cards. They're basically laid out on the side of the board, face down, you know, shuffled, and you would take the first one. So if you land or you roll a um, question mark, you pick one, and then like this one says, Memories of St. Olaf, take an extra turn. Uh, play now or keep until needed. So you could do that. You keep it, if you use it, you put it back on the pile, but you get to use that. So that would be one card. But what happens is, you know, each one, like this one here, the next one is a vacation. Bonus question. Ask a question about any suspect weapon in room. Do not move your token or any of the things you're asking about. Play immediately. So it tells you what to do on the cards. The negative about these question mark cards, though, a lot of them do help you in the game. But the, the, the negative is if you draw a... There are eight of these cards in the pile. It's a dashing new man is the card. There you go. And what happens is, there are eight of them. The first seven are basically nothing. You put them on the side of the board, face up like this. You put them on the side of the board, you keep them there. There are seven. But when someone draws that eighth one, that eighth one is the killer. If you draw the eighth dashing man, you are eliminated from the game automatically. Your cards are all put face up so everybody can see what you have, and you're out of the game. That's the negative of the question marks. So yes. They do come in helpful for um, gameplay. And you know, when, with the couple times we've played it, I've pushed the envelope with those. I, I've gone and, you know, cause I'm figuring if I'm the only one doing it in the game, I'm gonna have at least seven chances to keep getting some awesome cards to advance my uh, knowledge of the game, advance my um, questions and, and get my rumor ready to start and hopefully it'll be the right one. Uh, once you get to that six dash new men's, when I when I stop, I kind of slow down. And I let somebody else roll a question mark and get stuck picking. But yeah, that's it. It's, it's, it's all about strategy too. You know, if you know you're getting close to that new that dash and young man, you mo might want to wait and let your opponent accidentally draw that, and then they're out, and you can keep going. Especially if you're playing more than you know with one, uh, one person. If you're playing three or more, so that's what that is with the question marks and these different cards. And um, I like them. I like it. I like this game, and I like different versions of Clue because they do change it up a little bit with the character cards, with the extra um, question mark cards. It changes up the game a little bit, makes it more exciting, makes it different. Like you don't know, you know, at any moment someone could pull a card, and all of a sudden you have to show somebody an extra card, or they get another turn. It just it makes it more entertaining, more fun. Changes it up from the original, just basic Clue game. So that was the Golden Girls themed clue. Again, I ordered mine from Entertainment Earth. I haven't seen them um, in many stores, like a Toys R Us or anything like that, or Target, or I haven't seen them in any of those. So I'll have a link down below if you are interested in getting it. Uh, go to Entertainment Earth, you could look up Golden Girls Clue and pick it out, uh, but I'll have a link below. Let me know what you thought of the Golden Girls Clue. Have you played it? What do you like? Are there any Clue games out there that I should be looking for? I have a couple more that I'm gonna show in future episodes of the Geeky Game Master, but uh, this today, I wanted to show you the Golden Girls because sometimes I just want to thank you all for being a friend. That was it for this episode of Geeky Game Master. Let me know what you thought in the comments section below. If you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up. If you like what we're doing here, you want to stay updated on our channel, hit the subscribe button, then hit the little bell. That'll give you notifications whenever we go live with a new video. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at EverydayGeekTV. Thanks, guys, and I will catch you on the next one.